Welcome back to the Morning Blend. Well, some parents think that they're tech savvy because they know what LOL means. But trust me when I say this, there are some common texting terms that are shorthand for some pretty scary things. And if you're like me, you have no clue what they mean. So today, we're going to amp up your tech IQ with a test. Our next guest says what you don't know might alert you to some very dangerous behavior. Dr. Melissa Westendorf is a clinical psychologist. She's also the co-founder to the Technology Wellness Center and author of a book called Unplug Raising Kids in a Technology Addicted World. Great to see you. Hi, nice to be back. It's always a good wake up call <laughs> for always. me when I see you. I bring cheery news. Yes, yeah, but important news. Yes. And I think you're balanced about it. You have three kids um, right. of your own, and so you, you get it. You know what it's like. It's not like you're writing this book, and I always say the perfect parents are the people who don't have right. kids. You, you know what it's like. Absolutely. You're, you're, you're in the trenches with us. Absolutely. It's very difficult to navigate all of this stuff so hopefully this can all be helpful for people Well, and don't you think too that we're this generation sort of the first generation where I think my kids are going to be better parents in terms of parenting people with technology because they're used to it we're the generation that we didn't grow up with all this right. stuff yet we're in a position to raise kids who have grown up with all of it absolutely we are so disadvantaged um, we just it's not intuitive to us whereas for our kids it seems almost more intuitive so Yes, we need a lot of help. Yeah. All right, let's go with some of these texting acronyms. The first, now, I don't know the answers to any of these. There's one okay. on this list that I do know. The first is a group of, let's see, five, and they are PAL, PAW, PIR, POS, and CD9. Okay, the one on this list I know, and that's because I think you told me one other time it's POS, and it means parent over shoulder. Yes, it is. So this collective is all about parents are around. So PAL is parents are listening, you have parents are watching, parents are in the room, parents over shoulder, the one that you knew, and then code nine is parents are nearby. <laughs> so Code nine. Code nine. So you can also substitute MOS, like mother over shoulder or father. So it's, oh. so it's, you can th use any of those, but it's mostly, you know, parents are around. We need to be careful. Well, Don't text there's me. There's so many. There's not just parent nearby, but it's like parent over shoulder, parent listening. Pa they're very specific. <laughs> they are very, very specific. Okay. Yes. What else do you have? Because you have a cheat sheet. Yes. Oh, I brought my cheat sheet so I could quiz you. So okay. the next one is KPC. Uh, is the middle P part for parent? Okay, yep, you're, you're getting better at this. Okay, scary, what does it mean? Okay, keeping parents clueless, oh. which is just so pleasant. Why do they isn't want it? to do that? <laughs> <laughs> wow, jeez, I don't know, but I bet I could come up with some reasons coming yeah. up. <laughs> All right, give me another one. All right, the next one is L-M-I-R-L. -L. I have no idea. So this one is let's meet in real life. <gasps> Ooh, that one could be very scary. Yes, yeah, so this one can be very scary. This might be cluing you in that your child is talking to a stranger oh, online. Yeah, because yeah, so, they've not met. Correct. They're texting or in touch with someone online who they haven't met. Good point. Right, right, okay. absolutely. Next one. Uh, the next one is CU46. Okay, C maybe CU Correct. later or something? Um, CU46. <gasps> Oh. So for this one, the six is obviously being replaced here. Um, also, you'll see sometimes the S and sex being a backwards or a five, and then the E being a backwards three. So those are just some clues to decipher. A backward five or a backward three? The five will be the S, and then the backward three oh, um, will okay. be the E. So that's right. just some lingo that you might see in other types of texting that can clue you into maybe what they're talking about. Okay, there are about 10 other ones that we're just going to put on screen. Sure. Um, and all of these are going to actually have the answers for them. But what do you want to say about these in general? Because it's like TDTM, Sugar PIK. I mean, I have, oh, talk dirty to me. Okay. Yep. I have no idea. I mean, I didn't know these even existed. If you, if you see some of these, uh, I, I, it's kind of a signal that there's some potential problems. <laughs> right, right. So some of the ones that are going through the screen right now are ones that I have seen in my forensic uh, evaluations that I've done of kids who have been in trouble with the law. So these are ones that you definitely want to, if they're getting naked on the camera or somebody's asking them to get nude in front of the camera, there's a concern. You do not, absolutely do not want your children or anybody doing that. Um, stuff and so these are conversation starters and you need to talk with them about what they 
been doing and hopefully stopping them before they do something. Um, sometimes kids get careless and they forget to erase something and so you, that might pop up and so it's really just you have to start these conversations you have to be cognizant of what you're doing I'm always telling people look at what your kids are texting but you need to know what they're texting as well yeah and you might not understand it right right like the I am broken one you might your child may say well I'm so broken and you may not know what that means but it actually means they're hungover so oh. there's the conversation you need to have about alcohol and substance use well and the last one kill myself this could be a, a signal or a sign that someone's thinking about having right. suicidal thoughts. Yeah, so where this, you know, people say that all the time flippantly, right? You know, yeah. oh, I could I just kill myself. But there are concerns in cyberbullying with kill yourself. Um, and then a kid maybe who has some depression and you see KMS. So you need to be aware of what's the context, what's your child going through, are they being bullied? And you see these things coming across social media, online chat rooms or texting you need to get them some help and you need to have some good conversations with your kids about it so yeah we ran out of time but just really quickly to, to put kind of like a, a an end note on this a takeaway where can people go to to learn more to to maybe understand these acronyms better or, or a good resource for sure. the texting and the lingo that they're using sure so on my website the technology wellness center i have a whole list of these acronyms. Uh, some are very explicit, so just to warn people, um, but we couldn't do them on television. So you can look at those. You can start to see patterns that will help you learn more about what they're talking about. The other thing is if you can have a really good conversation with your kids and a good um, uh, talking about what people are texting, maybe they'll clue you in on what some things are and you can help figure these things out on your own. It's so. a great conversation to have with kids and very Absolutely. Important. Great to see you. Nice to Thank see you, you so as much well. Thank you for your time.